Second fundamental step of the forehand is to get your racket back and your other arm out across your body. So you've gotten yourself from the ready position, you've pivoted, you've turned the shoulders. From this spot, racket comes back, other arm comes out across your body about shoulder height and more or less in line with the baseline. And this arm is going to help you with balance and judgment of the tennis ball. Now this position you've just gotten yourself into right here, this is basically your loaded up position, your coiled position. Coaches call it a bunch of different things, but the main point is that once you get to this spot, your preparation is done and you're ready to swing forward to your contact point. Once Frank pivots and he turns his shoulders, he releases the racket with his other hand and brings it out across his body because that helps him with his balance and it also helps him judge where the tennis ball is. At the same time, when he releases and brings his arm out across his body, he brings his racket back now with his arm. The shoulder turn started to take back, but now he uses his arm to get the racket all the way back. And when he gets to this position, now his preparation is done and he's ready to swing. This is a picture of Marat Safin pivoting and turning his shoulders. And the racket's starting to come back even though his arms and the racket are still in line with his body just because his shoulders are turning sideways. Now if we take a look at his release point from the side, when he lets go of the tennis racket, his other arm, in this case his left arm, is beginning to come out across his body and he'll continue to take the racket back by turning his shoulders and using his right arm to get his racket all the way back. Now if we go back to the front shot, this is a picture of him having fully prepared. His left arm is out across his body, fully extended, and his racket is all the way back behind him.